Okay, good afternoon everyone. So by show of hands, how many of you guys have made something yourself, like a project or a, a Bluetooth speaker, something like that yourself? Anybody? Uh, okay, I don't think there's much here, but anyway, for those who did, congrats to our guys. And for those who didn't, here's why you should really uh, try something yourself. So uh, I'm an audioholic besides being an electronic enthusiast. So I wanted to buy one of the best uh, state-of-the-art Bluetooth speakers. But the catch was that those things were pretty pricey. And the JBL Go Plus, etc., something like that was around 15 to 20K. So that was my inspiration, actually, because if you can't buy it, just make it. So I decided uh, so that I'm going to make a Bluetooth speaker. So I did some research. And after a few weeks of research, I found that whatever the Bluetooth speaker you are going to make, or any sound system, Bluetooth-based had just five components. It had a Bluetooth audio receiver to receive the audio signals from a phone and an amplifier circuit to amplify the audio signals and a power source so that the electronic circuits would work. And there was finally the main component that we need are speakers, good quality speakers. And the final part was an enclosure because we need to enclose this in a box. So I decided to make that and I followed the uh, circuits and schematics and everything and I made it. Uh, it was just a small cardboard box and it was not uh, very pretty at all. And I connected the audio with my phone via Bluetooth and I played some of my uh, best bass songs. And to my surprise, the sound quality was exceptionally bad. And it was a lot of time waste. And I was really heartbroken. I, I, was, I was never this sad even when I got my surprise because it was too much hard work uh, rather than studies. And so I decided to find out the cause. And after the, some research, I found that the cause of the distorted sound was due to uh, something called ground loop. Ground loop was caused because the uh, Bluetooth amplifier and the, I mean the Bluetooth receiver and the Bluetooth amplifier having the common power supply. That was the main cause of this distortion noise. And so next my, uh, next what, what, what I was going to do was to, uh, by any means I had to uh, get rid of that noise. And so I, again I did some research and found that there was two methods so, uh, by which you can remove it. And was, one was using an isolating converter and another was using an audio transformer. And I used these two methods and first uh, I used the audio, uh, I mean isolating converter. It was just a small chip and you just give the power supply, there was four pins input and output. And you just give the power supply and that uh, module will take away the noise, and distorted noise. <coughs> and, and I connected that and finally the sound quality was, again it was bad. So, it was, uh, it was not as bad as the first, it was a bit, a bit of, be uh, it was better quality than last time. And so I was again heartbroken and I just skipped that topic and skipped doing anything related to that. And uh, after a few days, I just thought of creating, uh, uh, giving a uh, separate power supply for the amplifier and the amplifier and the audio receiver. And when I connected that, everything was good and sound quality was amazing and I was blown away. And so what I want to share with you guys is what I wanted to make was a Bluetooth speaker, but what I learned was how to clarify audio signals and how to get good quality audio for a, uh, for a best pressure. So what I want to say is that by DIY, what we, are, uh, make, uh, what we are meaning is that we are not just making something, we are, it's a learning process where we learn different things. Just like in my example, I learned uh, how to clarify audio. It's, like, it's, just, it's just like life where we are all travelers and what we should uh, enjoy maximum is the journey and not our final destinations. So that's all. So I hope you guys enjoyed something and will do something yourself. Okay. Thank you.